Hi there, welcome to another vlog. Today's vlog is going to be a very short one. Because we're not doing anything. Like, we don't do anything if we don't. There's some days we don't do that. I've got no in between that. We want to get a seed out of me. Because, because um, where the bird cage is, is a toy box. Not, not a toy box, like a board game box. It's a box. Um, a cupboard. That's just full of like old like, games that I had when I was little. Um, and oh, I'm about to go and over that corner because it's just full of seed and I'm going to tidy out the um, cupboard and I thought I'll show you because, I don't know, because today's vlog is just going to be just this quick if it, I didn't show you anything so I'm cooking anyway um so yeah so i'm gonna put you over here Ooh. i'm gonna move all this i'll move this like yeah and then i'm gonna find like my tripod put you up on like here because i just put you here i don't think you can really see what i'm doing oh i mean you can it's not really high up, it's on the downside, but let's go. Right, so I'm going to decide to show you all my ball games. Please don't excuse my top if it like goes down. I am like trying to do my best. Uh, I've only just opened this cupboard and so I haven't played with these games for, I don't know, since we moved in five years ago, nearly five years. So the first thing I see is this, which is this thing called Sprazer. Oh, it's got seed all over. But, um, I'll put that on the floor anyway. So we've got Sprazer. Um, Studio. I remember that it used to be like my favourite one of my favourite things. And um it's like an airbrush thing. I don't know why like, I also like get these out and play. Or like not play them, but I'm guessing it just says suppose it is a fun way to create air amazing airbrush pictures. It's safe, clean and so easy. Choose a colour, a stencil and master your art in seconds. But become an airbrush artist with this Blazer Studio. So I think, like, you choose your colour and you just, like, spray it. Like a picture. It's got, like, dust everywhere. That's saying how old it is. Oh God. But yeah, I remember this and this is, like, really, really cool. I keep this. <laughs> So we've got that, and then this is just like everybody must have had this game. And if you don't, and I just don't know where you've been if you didn't have this game. This is Kaplunk. And basically, it's this tower, and you fill it up with marbles, and you put sticks through. Oh, like you put the sticks full first, and you put the marbles in. The top, and then you've got to like remove the sticks without like knocking the balls into the bottom, like this. It was like a classic, and I this was like from that old house, like that, like one of the other one. And this one I got for Christmas once, I remember it. It's a really, really good game. It's called Caption It with um, a tin. Christmas tin, so caption it, a crazy caption game. So basically, you have like a picture, and let me show you like an example. We we'll have to, oh, oh crap, we'll have to play these um, on the video. Maybe. So basically, for God's sake, this needs that like, off, oh, this needs tidier. Basically, you get so oh, many of these um, caption cards 
and the picture. So say you've got this picture, or you can get this one. So say you've got this picture, you would find a caption, like one of these, what you'd think matches this picture, and you play with like a set, like four plus people, um, and you all pick a card and you put them down and you read them out, like the person who's turn it in. so you say you know this changes everything and so on so on and whoever's that judge of that game uh, picks the, like the winner it's really cool game oh, of course yeah. I'm just gonna have to try to this up afterwards and this was like that was a really good game like we always used to play this game didn't we we were really good and then this one I don't think I've ever played I think it's just like stuck in here, but we've never played it. And this is a TV show actually called <coughs> Block <coughs> Busters. Give me a pee, please, Bob. So basically, it's a game where you answer a question. Blockbusters. Like, I don't know, like, I just don't know how to play like, it. It's like so dusty. Um, I just, I don't know. So like, basically, if you see a you get, you need to three people, two people on one side and one on the other side, put different colours, blue and yellow. Oh, right, pardon me, no marking. And say you get a question mark B, a big sort of a colour across or a line diagonal. You've got to write the question as you know, so B. in the beginning of B. Yeah, so what B has a big tall tower and it's in England? B, B, Blackpool. So you can put your little cover on and then you can just put some line. And then when you go there, from one side to the other side, you go on. Right, and then we've got this one which I have never played before. Like this is just this is what my mum played. Remember that one? It used to go. This I never played. This is back from when my mum was little. Oh, that that go for broke. It's bro. It's is that same as um. Monopoly. It's like, but the, you've got the to, version. you've got to like lose your money and not win it. Yeah. I've never played it. Um, it just says the game you win by losing a million. I never played it, but I mean, it it looks good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, if you remember any of these um the games that I'm showing you, let me know in comments. And then we have this one which I've never played either. This is called Tension. The crazy naming game I just I don't think I've ever played it it just says in under a minute you have to name 10 examples to a given subject so it's like five second rule mm. uh, it could be absolutely anything from annoying personal habits to foods that are not a bit nice sounds rather too easy doesn't it but there's a catch only answers matching the 10 examples on the card will count it looks fun See, like, we've just never known any of these games because we've never been in that cupboard. Have we? We'll just leave it. <laughs> Ooh, and then we have this one. What is this? This is like a crafty one. What is this? Make a crystal ring chime kit. That looks cute. Clearly, I've opened it, but obviously, I've never took anything out of the packet. Basically, make a ring chime. How cool is that? That looks really cool. I like that. I said to you, it's not going to be long, but it might be. And then I have this one, which is the classic Deal or No Deal. I mean, I'm not, I, we've played it in that kind of stuff, and I think we've actually played it. And um, it comes with a DVD, but um, yeah. it's a DVD game, basically. We played it at Alan's, which is my old dad, if you don't know. And um, it's really cool. So basically, um, I just, like, 
got to that peak about it's like a number box so it's either blue or red if it's blue it's good if it's red it's bad I, i'm not really good Mm. Then we have another TV game which is Catchphrase. This is really cool. We always used to play this quite a lot. So basically, you get a card and you get one out. So yeah. Mm. I'll get one out. So you get like, I don't know. I need to find like an easy one. Alright. So we'd get like a card like this and you've got to basically say what you see. So what do you see? That's pretty much easy, a baseball bat, isn't it? And then it gives you an answer. Oh, wrong way around, Becky. And you just get like some like, like really cool cards and you basically just say what you see on the card. Yeah, that's really good. It's also a TV program. It was hosted oh. by somebody, and then it was Stephen Mulhern. Right, well, come at first, do And then now Stephen Mulhern takes over. <laughs> it might say how it's hosted. No. So it just says catchphrase is a sensational compulsive game. All you have to do is find a hidden catchphrase from a colourful mixture of clues which practically jump out at you. See it, say it, that's how you play it. This cup. It's the UK's longest running prime time hit. Yeah, it's just really good. And this one we've never played either. I don't think. Ooh. This is Only Fools and Horses DVD board game. Where he who dare wins. The DVD. Oh, it. And it says the DVD is inside the box, you bunker. <laughs> we've never played this game. But it says, join down one and your other favourite only person horses couches in a race around the streets of Popham. Check out Dodgy and Motors at Royce Sid Bangers and go reeling and dealing in some seriously crusty goods on Hooky Street. Use your trading skills in a desperate attempt to buy pay-per-view cards and to access the interactive DVD. Be the first player to answer only person horses trivia. Observation on what happens next to these questions to retain your pay per view oh. cards. I just don't know what it involves, but um, that's what it looks like. Becca, just do that top one and then stop because it's going to turn there and then join them after dinner. And then, and then the, this what my auntie got me. Or Alan, I don't know who got it. Alan Potter. This is an ancient Egypt mummies and more. Wrap a mummy, paint a sour cycle, I don't even know. One of them tunes. I've never done this before. I think it's never played with it. We're not in focus. Told you need a new camera. Don't know where I'm looking for one. Um, mummies and more. So I don't know you, you design a mummy. Look, I told you I've done it because I've even designed two. So I must have done something because I've done that. No, you haven't done that. That's all. No, it's not because it don't come like that. No, I don't know. It comes flat. So we've done it. And I've done my mummy. Oh, right, little mummy. So I must have done it. Yeah, like a mummy. <laughs> And basically just make some money. Uh, no. And a weird thing what I got for Christmas and it really won. Must have been good. So that's finished this half. Um, I've got another... Excuse me. I've got another section, um, like the bottom section to do and I'll show you that after dinner. Um, I'm going to over like this bit because it's like a mess. Um, then I will see you at the end. Yeah, I'll leave it around one to the My other section, which concludes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten more games. And I think like, I'm going to go through these and like get rid of the ones that I don't need, and then like for my birthday, like Christmas is coming up, get that back then. Um, because these are my like, baby games. Like, 
So that's what we didn't really have. So yeah, that's good. So we decided to call it Button. And we, are me yet. and we are thinking it's a male up to now. Because, um, oh, that's a golden. Because so, it's yeah. very blue on its beak. Um, so, so yeah. careful because he's got poo stuck on him. You've got, you, you've got poo on stuck on him. Eh? So we're calling it butter. Oh, good, it's alright. <laughs> That is sweeter. I think it's fell off then. I know some at the job. Did it fall off? That's a great still stuck to his bum. No, he's still got it stuck to his bum because he didn't know. I'm coming up later and I had to do my homework. So we'll have another chat. Oh, aren't we? Okay. You are. I see water and everything all that in there. Right. See you later, I'll let you leave you my mummy. I'll shut the one then. Okay, one, two. <laughs> Let's go and get the buggins out. Right, I've changed so now uh, you can't see my boobs now. They've just dropped a fan. What's the matter, little girl? Look, because it's blowing my. Oh dear. Oh, um, forget to mad. It's got this name. Right, so. Bear in mind, I do have quite a lot of monopolies because. Oh, so that's about Monopoly. So the first Monopoly I have got is Monopoly the Blackpool version. Or Blackpool and the Five Crest Edition. Uh, because I need the Blackpool, so I may as well get the ball game Monopoly. So we've got Monopoly. We have a Guess Who, but that's up here. And then I'll show you that in a minute. And then we have this one, which is where you can make your own Monopoly, which won't even open, like it. So even out of the, like the packaging. So this is where you make your own Monopoly. Not even take it out of the packaging yet, but you just make your own. And it comes with like a till and a till a bank. Um so like I said we ain't even took it out of the package. But um, I think like you can put your own like picture on and stuff and do it your own. Which I think is really really cool. So that was what it this one. And then we have Scrabble Trick stuff. This is just like a Scrabble. But um this is just a remember. And then we have another monopoly. Because <laughs> why not? And then this is monopoly. City. And this one comes with 83D buildings. And you can build your own, build on every go, much your city. Fortune grower. So we've got residential, industrial, skyscrapers, and more. But they're just like. Um, oh my god, do you remember these, Mum? Them sticker things, what they did. I think. They're like it were a black thing and it was like sticky and you put foil on it. Yeah. I was literally obsessed. 
buy these flipping things. These are called sticker scratches, 3D holographic stickers. Um, and basically, you get a sticker sheet. We've even got an high school musical thing. Yeah, so I don't remember, I still can remember that. So basically, you get one of these cool, like, templates. Uh, peel the sticky bit off. Get some, like, photo. And you create your own stickers. I was literally, like, it was, like, the best invention ever. I loved it. I'm just going to make them. So, these are really light. Like and then we have Pop and Hop, which is frustration. But as, oh. as does version. <laughs> What was that? But excuse me, so it's basically frustration. <coughs> Let me have... I need to like literally go in here to get it. Oh, I can't reach. Right. Oop. That's so like a nine. This, which I was just... Oh. With, just like everyone's just come out. I'll put it back in. This is called Party 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 Party. And basically, it's this really cool like, um, game where you get these like, um, chat, like, what do you call them? These like girls and then like your clan bags and you go around and whatever like picture you land on you collect that card. So like these are like little people. So this is like one of them. And these are like your little land bags. And you basically you collect these like um Tokens. This is the look of dice. Um, this is like the middle bit. Uh, or you can have like two people. I, I'm trying to get like one of the tokens. But I think it's just collect these which is like so cool so we've got like a notepad up notepad in oh. hand got oh. a lip here a lipstick and stuff like that so you just go around and collect them basically it looks like the best game ever like I loved it and then we've got two more This is another TV game, and this is All Star Family Fortunes. It's like the best looking game ever. So this. It doesn't explain, but you basically get like a buzzer. We have a team of so like, I think it's like a team of five, or five, but like five. Team you can play army, and um, Ooh. you it's like the most popular answers to a question. So like name. Some things you get at Christmas, like name something you get at Christmas. And you write down like the answers, and if it's not on the list, then you have like a bugger. Um, it's just like. Uh, 
So this is the other cupboard, so I don't know if it's on. Oh. Oh, it probably needs a new battery. Yeah, that's your buzzer. So you have like your buzzer, you have like A and B, which is like um, different people, like two people come up and they fight against each other, so you're like. Oh, oh, I know that one, or B knows that one, and we have that either 45 seconds or 60 seconds. That's cool. I said to you that we need to play it. Because you don't even know what you can get, probably. Right, we have got two more. This is the one what I was obsessed with. Um, well, it's that exciting. The over the touch. The Do you remember that? Oh, what? Yeah. You know, it's a This is a wax. Yeah, yeah it is. was. A wax amusement park from Bulgaria. It was just like the best. And that's ice cream jam. You <laughs> know, it. Let me like it. First, you get your little credit for whoever that person is. I took that. Get your little spinny winny. I was like, you die. Spin. And this is a bird game. Oh. oh my god, this was like the best thing ever. Remember it, Mum? Yeah, I do. This is a bad thing. Can't even see it, sorry. Um, it's like snakes and ladders, but the black version. I think I'm like a more fun version. You can get different characters, you can get men, all women, these are men. This man, and um, yeah, that was like the best thing. And um, stick them on these, like, these guns. Yeah. So. Oh, these things here. Right, what? One more thing, and then we're done. Is roulette. I've never played this game. It's a common I've not played that. Game. It's not very it's a bit bitter. A bit it. It's not a And it just says roulette is one of the best games because any number of persons can play at the same time. Right, and then we see chances. One person acts as a banker who spins a roulette. Pays out the winners and refers any disagreement. The game begins when the banker says, place your bets. The player then places their chips on the numbers of, the tray, of their tray. When the banker says, no more bets, the players cannot place any more chips. The rule left and all that stuff. But apparently you can play it from like, the, um, from age 5 up yet. So I think that's a bit complicated from like 5 year old. Sounds it. Yeah. Never even heard it, never made it here. Looks like a pro like a poker game. Something like that. But that's all we do. Um I've really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna listen for all these. So I'm gonna clean um the cupboard up, put them all nicely back. Uh but I'm gonna get rid of the ones what I don't want in your life. I don't know if I'm not going to play this anymore. I'm going to play this one so I can make sure. I'm going to be a while to come off on my black screen and my thing. Sort that out after. But, yeah. I just cleaned up all this. Well, not cleaned up, but I just took out all of these. So that's where they used to be. And I've cleaned it all. 
So I'm going to put them back. And yeah, this is really cool. And so I'm going to get rid of the ones that I don't want to play with anymore. Or I don't need. And then take it all out, put them in, and then put like my first second more game in. And then, like, if I've got that more space, then I can get some more games. Let's see what birthday fairy thing is here. Yeah. Birthday fairy. Yes, because you have a birthday fairy, cheese fairy, Christmas fairy. <laughs> uh, oh, and then this is best for. I've got to show you that one. This is rare, basically, you, like, you have one of these, which is your character, and the other person's got to try and guess it. So it's like, is yours? As you've got a hat on, and if you say no, you put the ones down that has a hat on, and then so you get um, that right person. They've got like an electronic one now, which I'm pretty sure I used to have, but I don't know where it is. That's upstairs. I've got some more games upstairs in your big cupboard. Anna. Um, we've got an electronic yeah. one now, like an electronic person. We've got animals now and like objects. We've got like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. like we can press like yes or no. It's like really really cool actually. Yeah, don't I mean, yeah, being in my vlog today. Oh, that's a shame. But yeah, that's so nice that's that. Um, and I'm actually not going to end my bed yet, but I'll end it later. Well, sorry, she ended it at 2 o'clock. Oh, no, it's already, it's already 19 minutes. I did it. <laughs> It'd be right. But anyway, that's me, the couple game segment of today's book. Woo! Let's go and tidy a look at all these. Got to tidy all this up yet. It's going to be funny, isn't it? I shall have my mum's help. So it's currently like 7.50 I'm about to go in the bath but I'm currently doing an Instagram live. Um, an Instagram live. I don't know if it's called an Instagram live show. Um, I haven't got a clue if it's called an Instagram live show. Um, but it's called Instagram live. It's my ever first one. My first ever one. Um, so we're currently live and some people actually want to be in um, my vlog. So... Say hi to yourselves. You are now in my vlog. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually about to go in the bath. Um, but these guys want you to be in my vlog. So yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end my live show um i'm gonna try and do one at least once a week or maybe twice a week yeah like twice a week um and these are my little birdies hello <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna see you after um i've finished the bath and um i am my vlog but i'm actually gonna put you here for like two seconds so yeah, I'm going to go and go in the bath and I'll see you in a minute. So I've just come out of the bath and I'm going to end my vlog because it's only 8.32 and I need to edit this, get it saved and I need to see ya. <laughs> we are vlogging. Um, so, I've, I mean, today, like I said, it wasn't like exciting or anything. But when um, I did all those ball games and stuff, it was really, really good. And I thought today's vlog was going to be short, but it turned out it's not going to be short. Um, but I just actually don't know what to call this vlog yet. Obviously, you know what it's called by the time you watch this, but for me now, I don't know what it's really called. I'm sure I'll think of something good. Um, so I'm going to go and I'll see you tomorrow morning with another vlog. If you guys did enjoy this vlog then please do give it a massive thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, hit the notification button then you know when I upload a new vlog and I will see you tomorrow morning. Goodbye everybody, so goodbye mom. Goodbye.